Hello, chaps, and welcome back to Doki Doki. Is it disturbing yet? Because I don't think it is. Everybody keeps warning me about this game. Like, it's gonna get disturbing, but frankly, I don't believe it. This game is adorable and happy and sweet and full of joy and love. So, yeah. Let's jump into episode two and see what happens. Because I just, I just don't buy it. I just don't buy it. It's such a nice game. And just to catch you up, at the end of the last episode, we joined the Literature Club because we were really into the cute girls and you know you really can't blame a guy for wanting to be around four really cute girls so uh, we are walking Sayori home our childhood friend with that the two of us depart the club room and make our way home the whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls Sayori Natsuki Yori and of course Monica will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Ho ho. Ho 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 All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Easy. Easy. I love writing poetry. I do it all the time. At least that's what I'm going to tell them tomorrow. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, 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 I get it. Uh, we got Hot Piece Chocolate. I like chocolate. Horror. Infallible. Whisper, Dazzle, Headphones, Sparkle. Together. How about Peace? How about Eternity? Romance. Death. Party. Amazing. Flying. Universe. Promise. Fun. Unrestrained. Oh, Climax. We're going with Climax, obviously. Charm. Passion. Rose. Cute. Shopping. Love. And a kiss to finish it all off. Oh, wait. No, that's not the end. Okay, one more. Uh, uh. Doki Doki! Yeah. Alright, we wrote a poem, apparently. I think it's going to be kind of shit, but maybe somebody will like it. Hey again, Wolf Gore. What's up, Monica? Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but it, but I at least get, keep my word. Oh, fucking nailed that. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else already is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Wolf Gore. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori, Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <gasps> manga is literature! Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, click. Uh, 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 fixed it. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Wolfcore always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost see your house on fire. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh. How come? You and Wolfcore can become good friends too. Um. Sayori? Hmm? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Well, wait, Sayori? Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, what do I do? <laughs> eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. 
First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright, well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should keep it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Oh, I'm down. I'm down to discuss it. This this is how is this girl ex accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by, my, by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up lis listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? She makes a good point. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What, what kind? Ah, oh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ooh, hello. Uh? <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even, I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. <laughs> eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? 
You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Eh? I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Oh. Casual physical contact. Nicely done, Wolfgore. <laughs> Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger, but nobody will ever notice that. Of course they would! Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Oh, dropping the bomb! Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh my. Eh? This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. <laughs> Aren't you? Ah, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? <laughs> I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. <laughs> Does this thing even fit you properly? It's because of her boobs, you dummy. You fucking boob. <laughs> It did when I bought it. <laughs> Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. Why does it feel strange to say Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori has hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. Aww, that's sweet! <laughs> so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things! I kinda like Sayori, she's adorable. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. <laughs> what? You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Wolfgore, I can't write... I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everybody's, everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica writes hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? <laughs> 